Hello, welcome to another uh, program exam solution tutorial for the AQA Computer Science 2016 Paper 1 exam that's looking at warships, uh, the battleship game. We're looking at the second half of uh, the problem about how can you return you sunk my battleship or you sunk my patrol boat, whatever it is, if in fact you have. So if you haven't seen the first video, then uh, I very strongly recommend you do that. Uh, we're going to be looking at the search board method of uh, the search board method of assessing if a ship has been sunk. One second, what's going wrong? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so, if you've seen the other video, you've seen this all before. But now we're going to look at has the ship been sunk? And effectively, all we're really doing is asking the question. Are there any ships of the type that have just been hit left on the board? I.e. we're going to search the board. Um, so, quick reminder, we're only going to bother checking if it's hit, so we need to see where we're going to put that. We need to store the location of the hit. We then need to check every element of the board. Um, so, nested for loop. And simply ask the question, if the ship has just been hit, is currently on the board, then it can't have been shunk, sunk. However, if there is not a single element left in the board array, or a single location left on the board, whichever way you want to say it, that has not got it, then that ship has been sunk. Uh, for this particular tutorial, I'm not going to bother saying return the ship's name. That's going to do that in a separate video. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, just return the, the character of the ship. Be right, so let me quickly get to the code. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. So obviously this is uh, the make player move procedure. And this is the section of code here that uh, that will be executed if a ship has been hit. So uh, we need to put in a couple of variables first. So we're going to put in a holder for a ship hit so that we can assign the board contents to it and I'm also going to have a boolean that is effectively ship is sunk. First thing we need to do is assign the board contents to uh, that temporary uh, character variable and we better do it before we we change the contents of the array because otherwise we'll never know what ship we hit. So we've done that now let's quickly set up our nested loop. This is not the most efficient way of doing it. There are two efficiencies I could add on. Uh, I only need to actually assess the row and column, not every single, uh, not every single element. But that's actually more faff, and it doesn't look as nice. So just for this tutorial, I'm going to sh show you checking every single uh, array, uh, every array element, and we now need to ask the question is ship hit equal to the current contents of that element that's being inspected uh, if it is then ship hit uh, equals false you can see we're working with the assumption that we're going to assume that a ship is is sunk until we find uh, an element that has that ship uh, initial in it so now i've done that we need to set out a message that uh, says that you've shunk, sunk my ship and we're saying if ship, sh if ship is sunk then right line you have sunk my and I'm just going to use the initial for now as I say in the uh, next tutorial I'll show how we can return a uh, ship name from an initial quick reminder it's got to be in the section of code where there's a hit Temporarily hold the initial of the ship being hit, nested loop for the whole array, and then check if the ship is hit because at no stage is ship is sunk set false, then down here exit a message, output a message. Hopefully, you found that useful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments, and of course, you can make requests for future videos. OK, so we need to test this code, and we're going to quickly run a game, start a new game. 
Um, and to do it, we're going to do uh, 7, 8, 7, 9. And you can see that it's now returned, you have sunk my P for patrol boat. So we can see the code has, uh, we can see the code has, won, has, has worked. And obviously we just need to go through and just double check that it didn't do it before, and it didn't. So there we have it, uh, some code that returns if a ship has been sunk, but in the next tutorial we obviously need to turn that into the word patrol boat, not P.